Gold Sop of the Morning to you, laddies. My name is the Rental Man Buck, and welcome back to the glorious homeowner series here on UMRV. We are currently on our way back to the homestead as uh, I picked up a pretty cheap old swather here. They're currently right now, the head on it is the uh, tether wheel, in essence, a windrower, so I can throw it into nice, even rows. But uh, we also have Kevin right behind us in the lightning with our actual mower head, which came with a trailer. So that is fantastic. I'm trying to just kind of take it slower on these gravel roads as the county hasn't gotten out to grading those roads. So there's a lot of washboards towards the end. But Kevin's going to be following us here as uh, we got to be getting the last cut of our hay ground in. I did originally have like an older sickle mower that I had. I uh, crammed into the back of the shed, and I just I didn't like using it. It just got really bad. So I looked on Marketplace of an auction house, whatever I had, and I ended up running across this thing for pretty cheap. I think I got it for like 12000 or whatnot. But it runs, it cuts, it does everything we needed it to do. We hauled it back from Missouri. So let's get back over to the house here quick, and I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what we're going to be using today. Well, we will go ahead and drop our dovetail here and get... The straps undone. Now, this was a pretty wide load, so I didn't really... Uh, I had to be very, very delicate with getting this thing on and off the trailer. Now, please pardon my voice. It is, it is very scratchy, and it is very much destroyed by this point. I've been to football games. I've been to my buddy Greg's rave. Took Wyatt out there to his first, basically, uh, DJ rave. That was awesome. Wyatt had, had never had so much fun in his life. But between that, going to football, screaming, and having a job where you talk all the time, my voice is just gone. So please forgive that. Well, we're going to be getting this hooked up to our... Uh, we're going to have to drive. Actually, we're going to have to go into there because I know the width of the mower is just ever so slightly wider than this gate. But that is also new to the farm. We ended up picking up an old H&S windrower. So the plan here is going to be to lay the windrows with this, the windrow with our H&S, and then come back with that tether and just head the lines so that way it becomes the nice hay that we can have to make bales. So... Popping out here. It is definitely going to be a few step process, but I'm pretty much ready for it. It's not like we're going to take too much obligation to get this done. We just need to make sure that we get the job done right. Now, ever since last time, I also have joined the Clayton County, or in essence, McGregor Volunteer Fire Department. So we do have a radio currently on us in case we have any fires. This time in the season, it doesn't look like we have too many fires that are going to be going on, but we still could have the potential for, of course, accidents or maybe even like a small brush fire just anybody who might be doing something that just gets slightly out of hand so we're going to keep an eye out on our radio to make sure nothing comes through the channels but other than that let's get this thing hooked up to our swather here and we're going to kind of get out on the road and ready to go and i should have said field like we're, we're in the grass field but now after getting everything hooked up making sure everything is attached tightened and secured power on our mower here or in essence our reel and we're just going to start making the cuts around this big outside field now if you guys have not already be sure to smash that like button subscribe down below as you do know we are on the race to the hundred thousand subscriber mark by the end of this year any support is obviously appreciated i love you guys for the sake that we you guys make the channel. I, I make the content, but you guys truly do make the channel. So I'm so thankful to have you guys out here and joining us to watch this episode. Mowing is just a very low, intense, intense job on this game. Like, I mean, it takes a while sometimes, especially with a field like this and a width of cutting to this dimensions. But just it's a really low, intense job. So I really do like that. And we are laying down some grass. Really nice cut. The actual cut itself doesn't look too shabby. It might actually not take nearly as long as I think it will because we do have a relatively wide header on here. Didn't really even think about that. We did also invest in a Rhino Flex Wing. Currently sitting off to the side there. That's going to be pulled by the 4020 when we're going to clear the ditches. So it is definitely an underpowered mower. Like the tractor itself is not putting out the maximum amount of power that the Flex Wing is going to be able to take. So. That's very nice. But I just kind of want to keep on keeping on. Don't you think we've had enough of the trauma you bring? Ain't you tired of thinking we can get through?
Okay, so Daryl is going to be getting in the swather here, getting ready to go. I was kind of having some trouble with the drone itself, so I wasn't able to fully get uh, the exact, like, shots that I wanted to. But I'm going to kind of start uh, getting these rows right here across the fence line, so that way I can kind of figure out what all I'm going to need to start grouping together, so that way we can get the tether through here. But if you guys also haven't noticed, we got an Andy Clean shirt on. We got Andy Clean in the pressure washer. So once the whole day is done, we're going to be cleaning off on this. There's a lot going on here. So uh, I'm just going to kind of drop the HS here quick. And we should technically be good to go. So I know I can rake a lot faster, but I kind of don't want to mess anything up. So we're just going to kind of keep putting along here, and we should be doing just fine. Oh boy, what do we got going on here? Clayton County Fire Monitors in the area of 1800 East County Road 45 for reported brush fire. That's Clayton County Fire Monitors in the area of 1800 East County Road 45 for the oh. brush fire. Hang on. Uh, fire dispatch to brush 22 and tanker 70. We are going to be showing in route. Copy. In route. Okay, boys, we got ourselves a fire we got to respond to, so let us get our rake back up here quick. Uh, we got to be moving. Uh, currently, we got it looks like a vegetation fire. County Road, I think it was said, uh, County Road, 1800 East County Road 45. Okay, I think I know where that's at, but we need to get on the move. So uh, we're going to get en route to the fire station here quick, guys, and we'll check in with you here in just a second. I got to get on the move. <laughs> you should just have me go like this. <laughs> Nobody asked you to help. Hey, everybody on the page room, shush your mouth. I'm currently trying to drive a oh, truck. Oh, no, I fucked myself. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said you had to be here. Hey, I... Oh, boy. Okay, now we got even more going on at the station. I'll see you guys down at the station. So I ended up taking the lightning because it's probably going to be my best truck that I got here. Now, I don't have the rookie rescue lights on this yet, so I'm kind of just trying to, in essence, lay low on the profile of speeding. So our fire sirens have technically shut off now, but we're going to be responding code three because I don't know who else is going to be at the station. We already kind of have a couple of our guys that are looking like they're getting ready to go. But we're going to be jumping in brush 22 as well as we're going to be having tanker 50 follow behind us. It doesn't sound like it's too big of a uh, containment fire that we're going to have to be looking at here. Uh, hopefully the light, of course, the light has the collisions going on. OK, well, it's a fire. So green light. Here we go. Come on. OK, so we're rolling up to the station here. Let's get it on our apparatus. Our boys look like they're getting ready to go. Doors are going to be going up here shortly. Uh, let's get on our uniforms. There is brush 22 right there and tanker 50 on the far side. Get doors open. All right, boys, let's get this thing suited up. And we're going to be on the road. We got to be going code three. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, run into the wardrobe here. Like I said, look at that. Andy clean. Yep, we know. We know. We know. We're well aware. Uh, where's our outfit? Outfit, outfit. Okay, who's this? Don't make fun of me. This is the best I'm gonna be able to do for a fire outfit. Here we go. We got our fire gloves. And I think that's pretty much all we have to do for our apparatus. I know that's not a great uniform, but let's get ourselves set up here. So, uh, we're gonna be taking brush 22. And tanker 50 will be following us accordingly. Let's get lights on. We are currently in route code three. The tanker 50 is currently right behind us right now. We're currently hauling as fast as we can with this old buddy, but we're responding code three to what appears to be an out of control bail fire. In essence, a vegetation fire. So we're just scooting as fast as we can and the tanker is going to catch up with us uh, here shortly. So we'll get here to the fire and we'll kind of catch with you guys here in just a little bit. So currently we see the smoke. It's not necessarily the exact address. It's more or less in the middle of a field here. So we're going to probably try and take, uh, I think this is our grass field here. So let's get in. Let's kind of wrap around. We can see the smoke coming up over the top. I think our tanker followed us in. I got to find out where he went. Where'd our tanker go? There he is. Okay. Tanker's loaded with water. I'm loaded with water. There is our smoke. Holy cow. Okay. We need to contain, contain, contain. They called us out for a singular bail. Well, nonetheless, all right. Let's get this situation under control. Tanker's crux rolling in. Okay, so grab the hose out from the back. Let's get this thing hooked up. We need to get this attached to the pump system, get our valves open, get the pumps turned on. I uh, don't think we're going to need to be doing that, but uh, let's spray this little quick brim around the fire here. 
Get ourselves a little bit of a containment. Ow, that is hot. Very hot, very hot, very hot. Contain, contain the fire. I want to make sure this stuff around the burn area is not going to be spreading when we spray this. We don't need to have embers going anywhere. The grass is still wet, so we don't need to worry about that. But I am going to be trying to spray down a majority of these areas because we got to wet this thing down. Fire dispatch, brush 22 and tanker 50 show us on scene, currently putting out one bale, one massive bale. This is a relatively large fire. Where is the on location with a stack of hay bales on fire? Looks like we're working it out slowly, but surely we're just kind of keeping on containing. We're going to need to hook up that valve system on the other side of the truck. This truck's tank's already running empty. I need more water. This thing must have been cooking. I don't know what the heck happened to this bale, but I mean, it is... It is burning up on the corners here. I'm still working on this right now. The boys are getting the pump system hooked up from the tanker because we're going to need all the water we can get. For some odd reason, this bale is just not going out. I've been watering this thing down for a good solid 10 minutes, and we've still got a relatively big blaze going on. This thing is cooking. Finally, we're starting to actually contain the blaze on this. We shouldn't have too much more left, and really trying to get underneath this thing and get around it. This thing's going to be smoldering for a little bit. There we go. So that actually is 130 bucks we got for doing that. But our fire is currently out. Let's radio back to dispatch here quick. Fire dispatch to brush 22. We currently have the fire contained. Uh, going to be cleaning up the area here and then show us back to uh, en route to station and put us 10-8. We see fire is out. We'll be returning the service momentarily. Well, that takes care of that, so let's get loaded back up here, head back to the station. We'll just kind of let that, uh, we have enough containment around the area. The water is, uh, that bale is not going anywhere. We'll, they'll have the farmer come out here, pick that up and take care of it. We're going to load back up here, get all the hoses and everything put back on the trucks. And we're going to head back to the station. And then after that, we're going to get back to some hay work. So a quick moment of thanks on our way back to the house here. I actually have to take a big moment and thank you for my boys. He didn't get to say a whole lot. You guys might have picked up on his voice. Uh, but King May's community, yes, King May is still around. That was his buddy and my buddy Shane. Shane was acting as the dispatcher to help out to where I actually could receive a fire call with the fire siren and kind of getting the whole thing set up was a little bit finicky but i really wanted to incorporate the fire station stuff and i used to run back in my 5m days uh very very briefly i very rarely ever ran it but i used to run on the sandy shores fire department and my dad my real dad actually used to be on topeka kansas fire department over like i think it was 20 30 years ago now but uh, so being in the fire department was always something really cool that my family actually has done. Thank you, Papa, for your service in the red line. But we'll see you guys back there, and we'll just kind of be continuing on with the swather. So I didn't really have a whole lot that I needed to do today. I already mowed the lawn yesterday. We could technically run over to the garden and fix some stuff up with that. Now, since we're going to be using the uh, mower here for a little bit, I'm just going to run the Can-Am over and pull the key on the 4020, so that way we don't... Uh, leave this running. Not pull the key, but, like, just turn it off. We'll pop back up in here quick. Shut that off. And let's run back over to the mower and commence mowing. You know, pretty basic stuff. You cut grass. It's not too hard. Now, I really don't know about the next guy, but I personally do just... I love mowing. It's just so relaxing in this game. Can't really beat that. And I know very well that I've actually used this particular swather, or mower, or even its chaff variant. Like, I've used this thing a, quite a few times. It's always been one of my personal favorite mods, and I'm really glad that it just kind of keeps on getting uh, converted from game to game. And it, I think in this one, they finally did redid the model on it, so... Got a lot of grass to cut ahead of us. We'll catch you guys when we start doing a bit more windrowing, I'll say that much. Having the Mavic, I tell you what, is so convenient. Like, the ability to just kind of fly around here in sport mode really just makes the availability to kind of overlook the farm in general just so much easier. But I... Oh, okay. So this is what I really wanted to look at was the pattern and how this turned out. That is fantastic. Like, that is just satisfying. Definitely got a lot of wind rowing ahead of us, but... 
I'm down for the challenge, and obviously that's where we left off when we had to leave for the fire call, so can't really help that, but we're going to wrap around, of course, on the edges here, and we'll take care of uh, what we need to have done, so without further ado, let's pop on over here to the old 4020 and get raking. Now, I think we'll just kind of pick up where we left off, more or less, since that's kind of a... And we'll just kind of stay with consistency at that point. So we'll get on over, unfold the rig, keep on clucking away. Now, this is throwing a relatively wide windrow, and I'm guaranteeing you my little square baler is not going to be picking up that windrow. So we'll run the H&S back over this once we're done, get it all nice and uh, stacked up again. But we'll probably catch you guys maybe a bit uh, through the baling process, since this is obviously going to take a bit of time going back over this entire thing. We've already seen it multiple times. But we'll finish out here with a little bit of bailing action, so we'll catch you guys there to finish out the episode, and thanks for sticking around as far as you have so far. Really appreciate you guys here on the Homeowner Series. Okay, so just checking back in here, Daryl got the 348 ready to go. We got all of our bail string and everything greased. Now, I have to put back our trailer, but I do have our other bale trailer here attached to the Can-Am, so pretty much all I'm going to do to make this as simple as possible is just drop that right there, get everything out of the way because I have to make sure everything is so squished together when I hook things up that it's just like claustrophobic, because that's that's the only way to do things. That's really the only way to do things. Make it such a pain in the neck that you have to make it not work. But either way, we have all of our rows ever so nicely laid out. Some of these wind rows are absolutely huge, so I can't really fix that. But I am going to try and pretty much do the best I can to pick up these wind rows, even though they are, like, humongous. But let's get the baler unfolded here. And we're going to try and maybe pick up Probably this area over here first. That's like the biggest area I have to work with. So we already have the operating position done uh, to the bale trailer, and this is the auto load version, so not gonna have to worry too much about that. Let's kind of run over to our first little line here, drop the feeder, and we're gonna see just how many bales we actually pick up in this. This is definitely gonna be quite a few, I'll tell you that much. Now, I know I'm gonna have to come back and get like a second pass for all of this extra grass that's sitting around here. Might run the wind rower one more time through it just so I can get all of the grass out of this field completely. But I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. Also, be sure to check out the rest of the uh, Homeowner Series playlist up in the top right hand corner right now, since that is jam-packed with a bunch of different episodes from previous episodes just in general. I'm going to start working on possibly some of those two-hour-long uh, big montage ones where it goes through a whole season. But other than that, also be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it, and I'm going to keep plugging along the way here with doing some bailing, so we'll see you guys all in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. Peace.